Welcome to day 16 of the Course in Mastery. Today we're going to cover the psychological aspects of staying focused when it comes to exercise, an important part of staying fit. Here's Tom. Thanks, Coral. Do you want to know the secret to being motivated to working out every day? Do you want to know the secret to having the energy and mental toughness to pushing yourself at that workout so your body tingles with vitality every day? Do you want to know the one secret that will virtually guarantee you will have tone tight muscles within the next 30 days. Do you want to know the magic pill that does it all? So do I. I don't think there is a magic pill. I don't think there is a secret weapon or some secret to becoming super healthy. When it comes to getting fit and staying fit, you've got to make a decision that you're going to be fit and you're going to stay fit and you have to make that decision every day. Health and fitness is a decision. I want to tell you a great story. Darren Hardy, who you'll be hearing from later today, is one of the most fit individuals I know. Now I asked Darren, assuming, because he's been working out three to four times a week for the last 20 years, I assumed he loves it. So I said, Darren, you must love going to the gym. <laughs> and he said, no Tom, I don't love it. I go and I do it because not doing it I hate. I don't like the feeling of not going. I was blown away. Darren has to make a decision every day that he goes to the gym. He makes the decision to go. A little bit like brushing your teeth. I don't think everybody loves to go and run and brush their teeth and spend their time to brush their teeth. But what they don't like is the feeling of not brushing their teeth. That's the same way Darren feels. Now some people may love to go to the gym. They may love that feeling. But I don't think everybody does. And what's important to understand is that even the people that are in incredible shape have to make that decision every day. Thanks, Tom. Today, Darren Hardy shares with you his secret for getting the results you want from exercise, as well as his incredibly simple techniques for staying focused. Here's Darren. Let me come right on out and give you what I think is the greatest secret to staying fit through exercise. In fact, I think it's the greatest secret to any achievement in life. In exercise, it is just revealed uh, physically. The secret is consistency. Lack of consistency is the subtle but great stealers of dreams, goals, and ambitions. This stop and start process is what kills progress in any pursuit. You can accomplish what seems like incredible, extraordinary results in short spurts. But if it's not continued, it's all ultimately for naught. Here's what it's like. Think about pumping a well back in the old times. Remember, you go to a well, and the water table's far below ground level. And so in order to get the water up the well, you have to take the lever and pump. And you have to pump like crazy. I mean, you have to pump hard for a sustained period of time. Here's what happens to most people when they start their exercise program. They're excited to take the lever and they pump it really hard. Well, if they don't find results in a week or two, they don't look like the Victoria's Secrets models or the Calvin Klein underwear model, within a couple of weeks, they let go of the lever and they never got any results. Or, in the pump analogy, water from the well. The objective is to take the lever and pump it really hard. And keep pumping it hard. And you're going to keep pumping it what seems like extremely hard with no results for a significant period of time. But if you keep pumping and you keep pumping and you keep pumping over a long sustained period of time, ultimately you're going to get a few drops. Now this is what really frustrates people when they start their new exercise program. They've been pumping like crazy for a long period of time and then they get a couple of drops. What is this? Is this, this is crazy. I, I, it's not working. It's, this is not for me. And they give up altogether. The secret is to keep pumping and keep pumping hard. Ultimately, the water will run fluid and you will have, start seeing the results from this aggressive effort that you have uh, that you have maintained over a long period of time. But here is the secret. This is the great secret to all exercise and maintaining perfect weight management. You've got the lever. You've got flowing water. Keep pumping the lever. Now, you don't have to. Here's the key. You don't have to pump it as hard. The water is past the ground level period. Now you can ease up a little bit, and you can pump it just in a sustained, and here's the key, consistent motion. 
You don't have to do it as hard when the water was down below the below the, the, the ground level. You don't have to do it as hard when you're trying to come back from being really overweight to getting back to some level of maintenance. Once the water's flowing, once you're at a period of maintenance, you have to keep the lever pumping ever so consistently. Here's what a lot of people do. It's called this, this fits and starts. It's this inconsistency. As they pump it, they get some result, the water runs fluid, and then they let go of the lever for a couple of weeks. And then what happens is the water goes all the way back down to the water table. And now when they just want to pump the lever consistently and easily, they're way behind. They get no result. They get no water. The key is to just keep the lever going. Keep the water above ground and flowing. You don't have to do it hard, but you have to do it consistently. If you stay consistent, I promise you, it's easy. It's easy to have great health a great physique, a great body, but the key, consistency. Just keep the lever moving. Don't walk away for a, a, a week, two weeks. Keep the lever moving just ever so slightly, just to keep the water going. Even if you just run real quick, pump the lever a little bit, and then go back to your vacation. As long as the lever had a couple of motions to keep the water flowing, you're going to maintain that great health and fitness and physique that you want. It's consistency. That's the key. Now, there are going to be times when you don't feel like working out, or it's not convenient, or you're on a business trip, or you're on vacation. That is what is called your holy moments. Those moments of decision when you either do to stay consistent, or you do not do. I learned this expression from Oprah when she is about to eat something that's bad for her or she's making a decision to work out or not to work out. She's tired. She can justify that she's busy. She has what's called a holy moment and she makes the right decision. And to her, that is a holy moment because she did the right thing. 